today, let's do Benjamin Franklin. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. interest. Okay, listen to your teachers. Love you. Love you. It's a good life. <laughs> it's a good It's a good life. When Anna got sick, I just couldn't understand it. Why was this loving little girl going through this? I think your daughter is lactose intolerant. Acid reflux. Everything looks okay. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. There's something wrong with our little girl. Mrs. B, you need to calm down. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Unfortunately, the tests confirm that she's very ill. There is currently no cure for Anna's condition. Doctor, please, this is our little... Girl. I'm scared, Mom. Me too. We're not giving up. Like a small boat on the ocean. We need a solution. We need it now. And we'll get it. How? By not losing our faith. Like how a single word. How long have you been married? 14 years. Free her from this. Might only have one back. Can you even hear me? I can make an explosion. <laughs> You're telling me that when this baby girl fell 30 feet, she hit her head just right, and it didn't kill her, and it didn't paralyze her. It healed her. Yes. Well, that's impossible. This is a little hard to believe. And there's a lot of people out there that are just looking for publicity. A lot of people think we're crazy. You either roll with it or you get rolled on. Who told you you'd be fine? Eugenio Derbez? I love Eugenio Derbez. In fact, a lot of people like Eugenio Derbez, particularly in the Latino demographic, which we all know is becoming, uh, or has been actually for quite some time now, a very strong demographic when it comes to box office receipts. So I think it is a stroke of genius to cast him. And if you aren't familiar with Eugenio Derbez, he is a muy famous Mexican comedian who had his own hit recently, uh, I think it's about maybe two years ago at this point, called Instructions Not Included. And I think it's the, uh, as I recall, it certainly was at the time, and I don't believe anything has surpassed it, the most successful Spanish language film ever to be released in the United States. And it deserves it. If you haven't seen it, go uh, go stream it. It's really, really good. And it's a little similar in that it's a feel-good movie, but it doesn't have the strong uh, religious angle that this film does. And that's really, that's, that's, that's really tricky uh, because obviously this is based on a true story. So this actually uh, happened uh, and doctors obviously, I guess, can't explain how this girl falling was able to cure uh, what was wrong with her when it seemed that medicine could not. Also, I want to say on a side note, if you're in a hospital and they say, there's nothing wrong with your daughter and you're pretty sure there's something that something is wrong, Go to another hospital. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it would be a mistake to just assume that because someone is a doctor or because a hospital is a medical institution, that they're always right. I mean, you see stories all, this is like a little public service announcement, but you see stories in the news all the time. And here's another one of, oh, there was something wrong, but we were told we were fine. You know, timing is you know crucial. You can't let time go by when it comes to uh, illness. So you have to take your fate into your own hands and go and find a response responsible medical institution with responsible doctors that are going to take care of you. Uh, just don't trust, you know, uh, authority necessarily. Now, obviously, this movie deals with the ultimate authority, uh, God, and it, you know, very strongly suggests at the end of the movie that God actually spoke to this little girl and told her that she would be okay. It would be crazy if they continued the scene and she was like, Dr. Hubenio Derbez, he told me everything was going to be fine. Uh, you know, maybe he was just trying to make her feel better, but he turned out he was right. But anyway, these movies are really a, a, a serious conflict for me. 
And I think probably for a number of people, I respect the fact that there's a big audience for them and that people really enjoy these movies that underline their faith. But I think that when you start getting into this like faith healing idea, I think it's really dangerous. I think that you should pray for support. Uh, you know, you should pray when someone's ill, yourself or a loved one, uh, for emotional strength to keep going, to keep the fight up. Because you know, it's been proven that you know your outlook and the outlook of the people around you when, when you're sick or someone else is sick does have an effect on your ability to fight the disease. But I don't like the idea of you know saying to someone who's sick, hey, maybe if you were to fall out of a tree, you would hit your head right and you would be fine. And if you fall out of a tree and you're not saved, it's either you didn't fall right or maybe you're not religious enough and God decided not to save you. And that's really a dangerous area to go into. So I almost feel like a movie like this is somewhat irresponsible, but at the same time, I want to be respectful of you know, the religious community that this movie is made for. And uh, I have to acknowledge that in this case, that, you know, it did work out and, it, you know, science again couldn't explain it. So it's really a tough area for me. Uh, but I would think that the filmmakers, I hope that they genuinely believe this. And it's difficult to divide, you know, when people actually believe in the story they're telling or if they're doing it to make a buck because they know this is what the, this audience wants to hear. So it looks like a good film. I love Eugenio Derbez. Uh, I'm glad that he's getting more opportunities. I like Queen Latifah too, and I like Jennifer Garner. I think she makes an excellent movie mom. But just the property itself, uh, I worry about the message that people will take away. Uh, you know, but I guess the ob I worry, uh, it's tough, it's very tough. So I'd be curious to hear from both people who believe in what this movie is saying and those who don't. But I would caution you please to be respectful in the comments down below because we are dealing with people's religious beliefs. And I think that's, uh, oh, you know, that's, that's sacred ground. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I look forward to continuing the conversation with you down below and you can check out some other episodes right now.